What are we gonna look at this morning, guys? We are going to look at two arcane knives. My buddy David sent these in. I am actually refilming this. There was an unboxing that I filmed, but I wasn't happy with the content, so we're redoing it. Um, but before we get into it too much further, a quick word from our sponsor, me. Guys, I have a ton of affiliate links down below. Any of the knives you see on the channel, there's a good chance you can purchase them some way through the affiliate links, including the Blade HQ. If you want coffee, there's coffee brand coffee. So check it out. That's how I support this channel is through the affiliate links. I'd really appreciate it. So now let's turn this around and take a look at it from above. is the crawler and the abyss these are both the uh arcane design knives that came in for my buddy david we're not going to touch too much on this because we've already seen the crawler i'm going to give it its own video again i just wanted to see it because i had not gotten to see this color configuration and it is really attractive so um I, I do like this this isn't a knife i would purchase but we will take a look at it later i just wanted to have both of them available we're going to get this one out of the way and we're going to take a look at the abyss because this is the new model and i want to get a good look at it and give you some of the first impressions and stuff like that like i said i already didn't film an unboxing but it was it did not end up the way i wanted so we're kind of revisiting it so let's go ahead and get this out of the way we're going to talk about the abyss all right the guys this is the arcane design abyss i believe this is his third design there was the necronaut there was the crawler then there was this i think there's a dagger uh, i can't remember the name of that i want to say it's the antimatter dagger but at any rate this is the third design and this is the one so far that i really really like so let's go ahead and crack into it we'll take a look at the birth certificate because this is truly this is a new knife this just showed up to david so um the abyss handle is six al 4v titanium m390 steel or damage steel this is an m390 satin and gray satin black satin stone wash this one is i i can't i'm not i you can't tell what you got here on this but yeah, and then the design, you get a sticker. And the cool thing about these is Israel started doing this, and I'm really a fan of this. You have some options. These are spare pivot collars that you can put in. So it comes with two. This one comes with a blue and a black coated. So let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the way and take a good look at the knife. So I am a fan of good packaging and that's reusable packaging. It's gonna be a little less wasteful. You can use this for other things. Actually, no, you can't because it, it's got, that's I meant to show you guys, I'm sorry. It's got a form cut foam in it for that knife specifically. But at any rate, so what are we looking at here? You've got a beautiful gray and black with some satin on that black coated blade the logo is down here in this fuller big clip point blade that is done as an american style tonto so you got a hollow here and then a flat here and i'm going to tell you this is probably one of the best done versions of this i've seen in a very long time so it's unusual to get a clip point with this configuration where you have an actual reverse or american style tonto a lot of times clip points are a little bit different they're just typically your nice rounded belly i'm digging the pop of this i'm not such a fan of american style tontos but i can get around this because it is attractive in hand it is super comfortable um one of the problems i have with the nectronaut which was the big tonto uh, it didn't feel as comfortable in my hand as this does i don't know what changes have been made to this pocket clip the pocket clip's a little tight. I'm not going to lie to you. The pocket clip's a little tight. I did have on a pair of 511s uh, earlier today. Just for a test, I keep them around because they have a reinforced pocket seam. This is tight. In and out of pocket. Let's go ahead and let's see. This is first impressions. I have not put it in jeans yet. It's still a little tight in and out of jeans. So it's a really stiff pocket clip, but some people dig that. I'm not going to say I hate it. Um... The action on this was a little stiff when it first showed up yesterday. Um, I mentioned that in a live feed when I was talking with David, the owner, 
And uh, I just put a drop of KPL Heavy on the pivot and a drop of, I didn't even take it apart, just a drop of KPL on either side of that to dr just let it capillary action down into the bearings. And it is way smoother than it was. Um, the only issue I'm going to have with this finished gorgeously with this matte, I don't know if it's DLC. I can't, I don't know if the card specifically said uh, if it is DLC. Let's see, does it say? It doesn't say what the coating is. But I'm going to say that if this is DLC, it will be good. But if it's a PVD, you're going to get streaking on this when you start cutting some cardboard. So I got to find out from David what we can do as far as testing on this. Um, it is done really well. I don't necessarily like finish on the scales for my personal preference. I'm not a fan of a of just a blasted finish on scales. I don't like the way it feels. Uh Sabenza's come that way. My Sabenza immediately got tumbled because um, I'm not a fan of this of the bead blast finish. I don't like the way it feels in hand, but it does give you really good grip. Problem is, it scratches really easy. It shows snail trails incredibly easy, as you can see right there. Uh, so that would be something that I would probably redo. I would take this apart and I would just tumble this. I'd stonewash this just to give it a better finish for me. Uh, the backspacer is a f about a half backspacer, and it is this thing is light. This is lighter than the other knives, and there's a lot of weight reduction done in this. You got the arcane designs down inside in the backspacer. I don't know how I feel yet about this. Sometimes these can be problematic when the cutouts on the outside. And like I said, this is first impressions, guys. Really kind of trying to rehash some of the stuff that I talked about yesterday when I did the initial unboxing. Um, but it, we're basically walking around this knife together. So in case you're wondering why this seems kind of jumbled and mismatched, not like my full reviews where I have it pretty thought out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, don't know how I feel yet about all of this, um, in weight, it's pretty good in and out of pocket. It's not too bad. I do like that all of the hardware is matched to being all black. Uh, we've had some knives on the channel where you had like a mixed match boob. You had black and then you had stainless. There is no lanyard hole, which I am a fan of that. I do not like lanyard holes. I like the option for you guys to have a lanyard, but not necessarily a lanyard hole. A lot of knives are doing it a little different. There's a like a cutout in the backspacer, things like that. That is something I would prefer. So it gives you a nice clean line. All these facets on these handles, really attractive. That's a nice way of contouring this handle, but also giving you some pop. I think that if this was stonewashed, um, like a long tumble and some soft, like really fine medium, you would get a really cool finish on that with all those facets. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it is comfortable in hand. A pocket clip's not a hot spot. Jimping is really good. That's some really deep jimping that you really... You can definitely tell that that jimping is not meant just for looks. It is absolutely there for function. And then, like I said, the blade shape on this is gorgeous with that big clip point, hollow here, flat here that, guys, no joke, it comes down so super thin. I think this is the thinnest one of these, like, American-style Tontos like this, where it, it comes down into a hollow and then a flat. I think that's about one of the thinnest ones I've had on the channel and i'm not seeing much inconsistency in the tip that thing is not asymmetrical at all so that edge grind is just about perfect so i do know that best tech did the oem for these and i know that best tech has had some questionable releases and stuff like that with quality but i'm not seeing it here and i would chalk that up to that israel is really particular about how he wants his designs done. I know there's some controversy about like Rockwell or something like that. I, I don't want to get into all that controversy. It just seems to pop up every couple years in the knife community. And I'm not into all of that, but as far as at first blush and appearances, this is a very attractive knife. I love this fuller that comes down like this. And now that it's broken in a little bit and it's got some, some good lubricant on it, you can actually use it as a finger flick, as a reverse flip. Um, so yeah, action on it. Now that it's got some, it's got a little bit of lube in it, um, almost drop shot, just sh a little shake shot. It might continue to loosen up over time. Like I said, it is basically three days old 
um, to David. So it has not had a lot of pocket time. And uh, yeah, I like I like the overall design. I love the aesthetics, and I love the fact that you have an option of changing these out. That's something that Israel and I talked about at Blade Show West um, in Long Beach. I love the idea of this. Um, I think that the one that I had that was the Necronaut had black and it also had red. So the fact that you can get these pivot colors in different colors, and I think you can actually just order the pivot colors by themselves in the color you want. So listen to that, guys. Listen to action on that. That sounds good. How big is the detent ball on that? It sounds massive. That's a pretty good sized detent ball. So, and then like I said, in there you can see again, lots and lots of weight reduction. So, guys, that's about it on this one. Just a quick first impression, just a quick walk around of the uh, Arcane Design Abyss. So. I like this. If there was one of Israel's designs, I like all of Israel's designs. Not all of them are for me. I would have to say that just the aesthetics of this would be one that would be for me. Plus, it's a little more comfortable in hand. So, guys, that's it. I love you all. Let's turn this around and take a final first and – oh, geez. Let's turn this around and do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. So there you go, guys. Like I said, we've seen the crawler on the channel before, but I hadn't seen this one, and I really like it. But this abyss, man, guys, like it, if there was going to be an Arcane Knives that I was going to own, it would be one of these. So hopefully Israel, they, I hope they sell really well. Israel and I were really both really good friends with Elijah Isham. So I'm, I'm wishing the best of success after such a tragedy in our lives. So Guys, that's it on this one. Uh, if you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why. I can't change that content if you don't tell me what it is you don't like. If you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. But if you do hit that bell icon, make sure you turn on notifications on your device or you won't get notified of the two, sometimes three things a day that go up. Um, if you want to support the channel financially, like I said at the beginning, affiliate links and stuff down below, but I also have a membership that gets you in on tier-based benefits. Pick the tier that works best for you, but everyone saves $5 off of my sharpening service, and everyone has access to my Gilded server where I do member-exclusive giveaways. Um, other ways you can do it, I have the affiliate links, like I said before, I'm not going to rehash that, but I do have a merchandise store as well where you can purchase my merchandise in my designs, but I've set up a coupon code that works anywhere on Ember Shirt Co. And that coupon code is crazy sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, crazy sharp, saves you 10% at checkout. And if you send me pictures of you wearing my merchandise, I will put them in the videos. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I will see you in the next video.